Good morning, everybody. This is breakfast time again. Hallelujah. Happy new week and a happy stress-free week in Jesus' awesome name. Yes, what an opportunity to be counted among the living to enjoy God's mercies. Hallelujah. And I want to say a very, very big welcome to all our first-timers, to all our returning subscribers. God bless you. Thank you for allowing us to invade your space. And uh, to all our breakfast family, we celebrate God in your lives. My name is Avicia Desua Igorio Agu. By the sure mercy of the Lord, I am the host of Breakfast Time Broadcast, aka BFT. And the Lord has been helping us for the past five years. And on this YouTube platform, what we do, we share God's word via songs, drama, and messages, and other things as the Lord begins to uh, instruct our heart. So many more are yet to come. We trust God for grace to do everything. Hallelujah. Last uh, week, let's just quickly dive into the business of the day. Last week, we started a wonderful topic called emotions. And we saw that our emotions respond to our thoughts. They are functions of our thoughts that is expressed consciously or unconsciously. There are times we just, you just re react somehow. You may not even sense it, but people around will sense it. Probably maybe there's something or there you, 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 there, there's a way you will just express it. And you see, unknowingly to you, people will pinpoint it. I remember one day I was in church and I didn't say a word. Unlike me, I was just quiet. I didn't say a word. And at the close of the day, somebody walked up to me. Say, Mama, are you all right? I said, yes, I'm fine. I said, why? I said, today you are too quiet. It's not like you. I know sometimes you don't talk, but today's own. Hope everything is fine. You see, unconsciously to us. So, therefore, I want to uh, just share a subtopic with us. Check your emotions. Check your emotions. I should check my emotions. We should check our emotions. Proverbs chapter number 23, verse 7. You see, as a man thinketh in his heart, so he is. That particular time, I was lost in thought, probably, and something took my attention. Hallelujah. And I believe it was not maybe too pleasant. Hallelujah. So therefore, as we think in our heart, so we reflect through our, uh, uh, through our, our actions. Hallelujah. And Jesus was telling us through the same proverb again. They were speaking to us in Proverbs 4 verse 23. When we use the easy read, he said, above all, be careful what you think because your thought controls your life. So we must constantly check our emotions. You ask me, how do I check it? Yes, is there a thermometer for it? Is there one thing? Is there anything to measure it? The word of God is the standard. Do you feel irritated about somebody? Go and search it out for the scripture. Lord, why am I feeling like this? Please help me with this. I have, done, I have gone through it. I know what it is. So I'm not talking as one free. But God has really done wonders in my life. You know, on 15th of October, I called a man of God I was inviting for a program. And in the midst of conversation, from nowhere, he chipped in this word. He said, woman of God, he said, don't allow whatever man does to you to make you kick against God's people. I said, sir, I don't understand. He said, whatsoever make you begin to see those that God has sent to you as rebel, as stiff neck, you begin to call them names that God did not call them. He said, that is the end of that mission. And he gave me a, a case study that I'm going to be sharing with us today. The Bible knows us to understand something. In the book of Numbers chapter 20, and you read from verse 8, it's the story of Moses. The Bible told us he was the meekest man on earth in his time. And he was leading millions of people. Ah, there were so many stepping on, on, of those, which is very, very certain. And on this day, they came before the rock and the people were tasting. Imagine millions of people just shouting on one person, give us water. Hey, you know, so many things. The man was irritated and he got tired and he went to the Lord. The question I want to ask, how many times have you gone to the Lord concerning that brother, concerning that sister as a child of God, before you respond, before you chat, before you tell them the peace of your mind? How many times have you gone to the Lord and asked the Lord, and the Lord told Moses, he said, don't worry, gather them before the rock and speak to the rock. The rock will bring water. They will have enough to drink and they are, they are beasts. And Moses did just that. He called the people. He gathered them together. When he got before the rock, 
Do you know what? He began to call them stiff neck. He began to call them rebel. He began to call them all sorts of names. And when he was done calling them the names that God did not call them, he smit the rock twice. And water came out. They drank water. Their beast drank. But in verse 12 of Numbers chapter 20, verse 12, do you know what the Lord told him? The Lord did not come to celebrate him and say, Ah, you did well. In fact, they have pushed you too much. The Lord told him, Because you have not honored me, you have not sanctified me before the people. Therefore, you will not lead these people into the promised land, you and your brother. I pray that will not be our portion in Jesus' name. You see how emotions can wreck us. You see how emotions can scatter our testimony. This is a man that has spoken with God. This is a man that the Bible just called the meekest. This is a man that went to God and told the Lord they are, they are in need of water. He didn't even submit, Lord, what do I do with these people and their nasty uh, character? Help me to manage them. The Lord did not applaud him because the Lord did not, you know, uh, did not call them the names he was calling them. The Lord saw them. A father of faith, Brother Aguilé, said something. He said, who makes you a judge over another man's servant? Hallelujah. What is the Lord trying to tell us? This is what he says in the book of Ephesians chapter number 4. I will read, I'm going to be just, I'm going to pick four scriptures. He said, Ephesians 4 verse 26. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not thy son, let not the sun go down upon the earth. Neither give a place to the devil. And when you look at verse number uh, 31. He said, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from your mouth with all malice. Look at verse 32. He said, and be ye kind one to another, tender hearted, forgiving one another, even as God for Christ's sake has forgiven you. A man of God told me something many, many years ago. I, even when the, I, this, this habit I have, I write. He told me something. He said, don't be bitter about people. He said, they gave you the best of their knowledge. He said, so a man cannot give you what he doesn't have. He said, if he react that way, that is the best. If he had an, if he had option, he would have been able to give you something better. Child of God, there is a word in the scripture concerning that feelings that you have. We are seriously looking at the, the negative part of it, how we can deal with it. I remember experience that I had. I saw a young lady from another African country. I brought her home and she lived with her for years. And all of a sudden she began to give us some attitude. And this attitude was so irritating. And one of the days my husband said, send her away. You brought her in, you are going to send her away. I said, God, how do I go about it? And I pleaded with him. I said, give me time, let me go and see God's face. I cried because the action was so much. The, the attitude problem was so much. This is somebody we have heard us to pray. We have fasted together. We have, uh, we have eaten together. And when I got to where I went to pray, I left the house. I went to the church. I went for a retreat and just asked God concerning that matter. Do you know what the Lord told me? He said, go and make her comfortable before she goes. I said, God. He said, make her. I said, how? He said, when you brought her into the house, how were you treating her? I said, we cook, we eat together. We fast together. We pray together. We do. He said, go and continue to do the same. So cut the long story short. I came home, I told my husband. My husband said, okay. And we began. It wasn't easy, but I just obeyed because I heard him. So we continued. One of the days, this lady came to me in the kitchen. After we have finished, uh, she has finished eating, she came to me in the kitchen and she started crying. He said, you have treated me like a sister. And I have treated you, I have not been able to respond well to you. Sorry, forgive me. I heard her, I said, no, I have overreacted. I overreacted, I didn't know how to respond. We hugged ourselves, we cried together, and that was the end. Few weeks later, she got a house and packed up on the house. How many times have we gone to God? How many times have we gone to God before you just speak a word to that fellow? How many times the word you are saying, is it the right phrase that the Lord said you should use? Hallelujah. What am I trying to say? I'm not speaking as one perfect. In fact, I have made so many blunders before I before that one. I looked at it. I said, this one is a sister. I can't do this. Lord, help me. And the Lord helped us. He can still do it. The Lord told Moses, he said, you did not sanctify me. We are children of God. Our actions, our emotions either sanctify God before the people or tell them something else. So we must be able to manage it with the scripture. 
The Bible says, be slow to speech. Be slow. Even in your anger, keep quiet. Be slow. Process it. Process it. Process it. Process the word before you say, before you write. He may not make the person well. Process it. And I pray God will help us deal with all these emotions that at the end of the day, we are not denying it that it doesn't exist. It exists. Sincerely, if people have, if they have, but if they have knowledge, as that man told me many years ago, if they have a better understanding, they will give us something better. They will give us a better response. 